All right, back on the review today with the new Nevermore bundle. Funny thing is, I literally said that they should do this in the Raven review when I reviewed the skin alone a little bit ago. I said should, they should really take the whole Nevermore set and put it in one bundle. That would be a good idea because these skins are very overpriced. And yeah, that's basically it. They're just so overpriced. And it's they came out, this one came out season three, Raven, and Ravage came out season five. Um, I love the, this whole set. This whole set's amazing. Um, I used to use Ravage's wings all the time. I don't use it anymore. And Iron Cage is a really solid backling. These skins are really good. I think they still hold the test of time. Um, the glider is really solid. I really like this glider. Probably my favorite default glider. And the Contrail is my favorite Contrail in the game. Every time you see me use a Contrail in this game, it's going to be this one. I don't move my Contrails. It's the only one I use. I don't even take it off. This is the only Contrail I ever use because it isn't that annoying and it looks good with everything because it's like a purple black. Um, and now I'm, get, I'm getting to buy the pickaxe. I was going to buy this pickaxe when it came out a while ago. I remember grinding Save the World to buy it. And then I'm like, eh, actually, I'm going to keep it. Good idea. Now I can buy it for 400 V-Bucks because we are 100% doing that because I've always wanted this pickaxe and I just never got the chance to. Um, the bundle is 3,000 V-Bucks. That is a fucking steal. Buy this bundle. This is an insanely good deal. I was hoping for this thing to come out and I'm 100% glad that it did. Um, so we're going to review this whole bundle. Um, I have nothing else to say. We got the Ravage, we got the Iron Cage back bling, we got the Ravage skin, we also got the Dark Wings back bling, we also got the Iron Beak pickaxe, we also got the Feathered Flyer, we also got the Dark Feathers Contrail. All that for 3,000 V-Bucks, a steal. The skin alone, the, ra the Raven is 2,000 with the Iron Cage. The Ravage is 2,000 with the Dark Wings and the Dark Feathers Contrail. The Iron Beak pickaxe is 800 V-Bucks alone and the Feathered Flyer glider is 800 V-Bucks alone. Let's get into it. I love this fucking bundle. Let's do it. All right, gamers, before you continue watching this video, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and check that description. Go follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and check out my Discord server and everything down below. Now back to the video. All right, so we have the Raven skin with the Iron Cage backlink and the Iron Beak pickaxe below. really hear any sound there um, only if that's me swing all right I like the impact Sorry for that. the the impacts real nice yeah I didn't even know this thing had a cool impact I don't know if they added that later on the line but that's really cool 800 for this pickaxe alone this is a great pickaxe I'm happy this that I got this for 400 this whole bundle's insane. I'm gonna just talk positive about this bundle because I love this whole set. It's so universal. It's such a good set. I don't use them that much anymore, but I know how good they are and I've used them back in the day when they first came out and they, they were good as, back then and as they grew now. Um, they were, like I said, they were, the only problem I had with these now is they're just so expensive, but here's your chance. Here's your fucking chance. 3,000 V-Bucks for the whole bundle. Two gold skins that are 4,000 V-Bucks. Uh, like, t apart, right? You buy both of them for 4,000 V-Bucks apart. Now you can buy them for 3,000. You get a pickaxe that would be 800. Pretty good. I had the storm wrap on. Actually, I changed the wrap once. Actually, uh, ADS, this one's not that great because of the little, like, feathers. But it's still pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said... The, the, so yeah, 2,000 for one, this one, and then 2,000 for the other one, both gold when they first came out, and then all that is 4,000, and the bundle's 3,000, it's just some shield. You get an 800 V-Buck pickaxe also, and you get an 800 V-Buck glider. I think it's a steal, like, I think this is one of the best bundles we've had, because this is just the biggest steal for me, and, uh, just for me, realistically. Because that was my biggest problem with these skins now. Because I bought them. I bought everything. Everything. I got scammed. I got scammed. If I waited, uh, what, three years? I would be good, man. <laughs> if I waited three years. I'd have a lot of V-Bucks right now, but not, whatever. I don't care. I'm just happy that it's cheaper now. Because these, these are so expensive now. I was saying that. But I'm, I'm very happy. 
And most people probably have at least like one item from the set, like maybe the one of the skins, right? Probably the Ravage just because of her back bling, or even the Raven just because of his back bling. Um, or maybe both and you just, and you get the uh, pickaxe and the glider for very cheap. So there you go. Because I know these skins were very popular back in the day. I don't know how popular they are now. I don't really see them that much. I play bot lobbies, but when I play like squads, fill. Forward. Back. Left. Right. I'm gonna be. I just don't see them that much anymore. Pull out one more time. Love this glider. This is my favorite default glider. It's really good. And then the fucking wrestlers had to ruin it. Really great one. Do some building. Oh, if I could build. Because I remember all the hype around the skin when it first came out. Like I said, though, I, I think the price is just so expensive. But Oh, yeah, I know why I can't build. Um, creative reset the fucking settings. Well, I'm not fixing it. It's just not as fast. That's why. I'll fix it after if I remember. All right. Let's do Primo, so you can see the front and the back again. So, um, the eyes glow, looks really good. Uh, the purple, the blue, the black all going around looks really fucking nice. I love the color scheme of this. Black is one of my favorite colors. Purple's probably my second favorite. And that nice dark blue to end it off looks really good. Love the backlink, backlink is so universal, really good. Love this backlink. Uh, it's like a silver gray on the back with the metal spikes. Really amazing skin, I love this skin. Um, and then the pickaxe looks pretty good too. Let's take the back wing off. It's one of the most universal back wings. A lot of people used to back wing the day. Maybe it looks like no back wing. ADS isn't horrible, I, I was saying, but um, the feathers kind of get in the way. Um, so yeah, let's switch over to the Ravage skin and we'll show that one off. Let's do it. All right, so here's the Ravage skin with the Dark Wings and the Iron Beak pickaxe. Pull up. So um, this is probably the only problem I really have with this whole bundle, but it's kind of Fortnite in general because they fucked it up um, entirely. It's the back bling. So I'll show it off here. So if I'm not moving, this is what the back bling looks like. If I run forward, it closes in. Every wing like related thing, like the dark wings, the love wings, they've all changed to have this stupid physics system, which I absolutely hate. They should have just kept it static like it was right here. This is where they should have kept it and should have left. Yeah, I know ADS. Close in for ADS. That's the only time you should close in. Close in like this when you're aiming down sights. But when you're running, just normally just keep it open. It always happens, and then every time you jump, it does some weird shit, too. It, you can see it more effect on the uh, Dark Wings, the Fallen Love Rangers one. Um, but this one, you know, this is, like, what started the physics thing. Because uh, it never happened on the original Love Ranger. It only happened on this one, and then they, like, fixed it. And then and now every single wing-related thing in this game has a stupid physics system that is so bad. Either they need to give it an edit style so you can turn it off, or well, they just need to remove it entirely. I think an edit style would be perfect for it. But that's my only real issue with this whole bundle. But, you know, it's a part of the skin. You can't really change that. Only if Epic decides to change it, which I hope they do eventually. But it's been a whole chapter by now. So, more than that. So, I highly doubt that they'll ever do that. Let's do some ADS. I'm not a big fan with, like, her feathers coming out of her head. I do like Raven more. I think he just looks a little bit cooler to me. I mean, he, and he was the original. And he has a better backlink in my opinion now, but... Like, see what I mean? When you ADS, it closes in. That's fine. I'm fine with the ADS, like, closing in. Or, like, you ADSing and it closing in when you ADS. That's fine. I just don't like it when I'm moving around and it closes in. Like, just stay normally like this when I'm moving around. You know, that's... I'm fine with going like this and it's closing in. That's my only real issue with the whole bundle. That's just a Fortnite thing. I wish there was just an edit style to turn the um, physics off with all the wings in the game. That's just kind of a Fortnite thing, like I said. You can't really change that in the bundle. Every single wing related thing has it.
Yeah, this is a really solid bundle. I'll talk about it more in Battle Apps, but I really do like this bundle. I think it's one of the best Fortnite's has added. Because I was saying, I was talking about it in the Raven review. Eventually, I will review Ravage alone, but not right now. And most li likely, every time Raven or Ravage would come out, this bundle will probably come out. Which, that's good. That's really good. Some gliding. Up the glider again. Forward. Back. Left. Right. Not moving. This is the I think one of the first gliders that actually had a contra coming out of it, if I'm not mistaken. It's called the feathered flyer. I don't think I meant it not. Let's do some building. Oh, I didn't fix the thing, so I'm gonna do shit building. Because they fucked creative mode where all your settings reset. Oh, I'm not doing too bad. Or if it just fixed it. I don't know. Oh. No, because look, my edit's circle. My edit is not circle. It's creative mode's fucked right now. Alright. I, I still did pretty well there. Primo, so you can do the front and the back of the skin. So yeah, basically just Raven, it's just a girl. That's really about it. And she gets a Contrail, which we will show in Battle Labs for like two seconds, but you don't really see Contrails. I think it's my favorite Contrail in the game because all the Contrails suck fucking ass. They're all bad, but this is just my favorite one. Um, like I said, um, the eyes glow, the feathers coming in that hat, or the helmet, whatever you're gonna call it. It's literally just Raven, just I think a little worse in some aspects. Um, some people might like it more because it is a skinnier model, but I just like Raven more because He's a little bit more uh, mysterious, I guess. He's like that cloak that's going on. I like that about him. Um, she does have some like cool metal knee pads though. I think Raven has something like that, but I think I just like Raven more in general. Um, and this color scheme's still going on here. Purple pants, all that. Um, let's take the back thing off. There we go. It looks all right without the back thing. Yeah, it looks all right. I'm gonna show you what I mean about the wings quickly though, because I have a bunch of them. Whoops, not that, not the skin. So here what I mean. So here's the fallen wings. I use these a good amount of time. So if I'm not moving, it's like this. It's static, it's not moving at all. If I move forward, it closes in. I think it's the worst with the, um, the fallen wings and the frozen wings and the love wings. I don't have the love wings. I have these and the frozen ones. And then if you jump, it like spreads. I don't like that. Why does that do that? Like, what the fuck? I, know, I get why it does it with ADS. It's so you don't, you know, it doesn't block your view. But why when I run, why does it just close up? It does it the worst with, I think, these two. And then I have the fallen ones. I'll just quickly show off. Yeah, same thing. But, uh, yeah, let's go to Battle Ops. I just wanted to quickly show it off and what I mean about it. Um, yeah, let's go to Battle Ops. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to Battle Ops now. And I'll tell you, should you buy the new Nevermore bundle? So this bundle is 3,000 V-Bucks. You get the Raven skin. You get the Iron Cage. You get the Ravage. You get the Dark Wings. You get the Iron Beak Pickaxe. You also get the Feathered Flyer Glider. And you also get the Dark Feather Contrail. The, ra the Raven is 2,000 V-Bucks alone with the Iron Cage. The Ravage is 2,000 V-Bucks alone with the Dark Wings and the Dark Feather Contrail. The Iron Beak alone is 800. And the Feathered Flyer Glider is 800. This whole bundle, like I said, was 3,000 V-Bucks. So should you buy this bundle? To me, personally, it's a no-brainer. I think this is one of the best bundles we've ever had in Fortnite. A lot of these were very expensive and still are very expensive, but now you can get them at a cheaper price in this bundle. I think it is a steal, and most, most people probably have a good amount of these items in this bundle, so you probably even get it cheap. I got the pickaxe for 400. That's the only thing I was missing from this whole set, and I'm happy to say that I got it, finally, after you know years by now two years probably three years um so i'm very happy and glad that i can finally get the pickaxe that i was going to get um when it first came out but decided not to because i just kind of wanted to save my v bucks at the time but now i can finally get it for only 400 v bucks so it's a steal for me this whole bundle is really good i really like this bundle there's nothing really else for me to say it's just a really good bundle i would say go and get it it's just solid um i've already said it as much as i possibly can i love the back bling. i love the skins here 
Love the pickaxe. Love the glider. The contrail is my favorite contrail in the game. We will show that off um, right now, actually. But uh, yeah, it's a really solid one. Let me show off the contrail quickly. All right, so here's the contrail. It's just the Dark Brothers. It's very, like, you can't even see it, but it's just enough to where it's, like, oh, it's perfect. It's the best contrail in the game. It's my favorite contrail in the game. I don't change it. It just looks so good. I literally don't change it. Every time you see me use a contra or lighting in, I never change it. It's just that good. Um, probably because you just can't see it that well, and I just like it, and I've just used it for so long, but it's just my favorite contra in the game. I just don't touch it. Um, all the other contra just suck in this game, but that's my favorite. I just use it all the time, and I don't change it. Um, but yeah, that's really about it. I love this bundle. This bundle is insanely good. If you don't have it, I would say buy it if you have enough, and if you want a couple of these items. I think they're all really good, and the combos are insane with this. A lot, the backlings go really well with other skins, and a lot of like dark-related shit goes really well with the skins here also. Um, and all, all the cosmetics go really well with a lot of skins because there's so many c colors here. There's the purple, there's the blue, there's the black mainly. The black goes with everything, so... Yeah, that's really about it. Let me go over here and do the thumbnail. All right, so yeah, that's about really about it. I'm gonna do the thumbnail. Emote for the thumbnail. Click. It's a classic season three emote. I think it makes sense. Fucking these birds are pissing me off, man. Um, but yeah, that's a bit it.